The Ethigate men market in Omaha was established during the colonial era. Successive administrations saw it as a source of concern, as its presence posed ugly sights that made the capital look like a slum. The market remained until the administration of the former governor, Senator Theodore Oji. Despite public outcry, especially by traders, the market was relocated to Obani in the outskirts of Omaha. The Seagate market on October 24, 2013, and on the 28th of the same month, the state government demolished the market and forced traders to the new location. The Ban International Market was constructed with all the necessary facilities and features that could match any market worldwide. This was to make the market conducive for traders and all. Aside low patronage, Another challenge faced by traders in Oban International Market includes the dilapidated state of the Access Road. Despite their cries for the collapse of Isigate Market into Obani, the low patronage can as well be attributed to the high cost of goods in the market. However, the market is now a shadow of itself as traders lament not just low patronage but dilapidated structures. They also call for the relocation of traders from the city centre back to the market to allow for higher patronage. Since 2013 we came here. I think for, during that time people used to come here. Uh, due to the first, the past government to force them. And after this our present uh, uh, governor, we, uh, everybody, almost all, almost everybody, go each gate, go, go there, go, go the thread. So people know they come here again to patronise us. We are pleading, pleading. We are dying. We are dying of hunger, no matters. We are pleading them to bring all of them, Oriwa and Sige. If they bring them here, there will be markets. Open international market is not moving. There is nothing. We are suffering on it. Uh, look at one basket of tomato. I bought this last uh, Wednesday. I'll be selling it. I've not finished it. Up to now. Every, from all local to Oban, I spent, uh, I spent uh, 1300 for transport. There, there is no game. At the city centre, popularly known as Isaget, the people are pleading with the state government to allow them thread there for the festive season with a promise to return to the market in 2024. Please, I'm pleading the government. I know that uh, he sent us to Oban. I'm pleading the government to leave us until January, so that we can run up ourselves and go back to Oban. The Abia State Commissioner for Trade and Investment, Chimeze Okebu, reviews plans by the state government on the facility. Well, the essence of all this we just to make sure uh, the market is revitalized. It is left to see if the government will come to their aid. Nora Okafor, Arise News.